We're here with MSI. This is Vincent, and um, dude, thanks a lot for hooking us up with some laptops. No problem. It's, uh, it, without that, there would be zero videos from PAX. Everyone remember, there would be zero videos from PAX. We didn't have an editing laptop, so thanks a lot. Hey, no problem. Anytime. Now, what is this? We, we, we haven't looked at this one yet. What do we have here? So, this is our newest gaming notebook that was just released a few weeks ago. This is the GS70 Stealth. Uh, this is the thinnest and lightest 17 inch gaming notebook on the market to date. It looks, you know, the form factor kind of reminds me of an ultra book. I mean, yeah. we use that sort of like, you know, for inspiration or? Yes, we're, we definitely are trying to go more towards, a, a, I mean, as you can see, this is a, a more form factor gaming build, built for portability, uh, but without losing much of the performance. So uh, this pretty much has all the full features of our standard like uh, line of gaming notebooks. Um, here, as you can see from the note keyboard here, we got the SteelSeries gaming keyboard that has been redesigned specifically for the GS70 uh, to kind of match the same feel of the designs. Um, it's also got an updated um, uh, LED backlighting for it, so it's much, much clearer, sharper. Um, as always, as, all, as for all our gaming notebooks, it also has an anti-reflective screen. It's a matte screen. And this unit, uh, particularly uh, that we're showcasing today, is running on a 128 gigabyte SSD and a 750 gigabyte uh, hard drive. The, the Max is the 760, or do you, could, do you have one with a 770 or anything? Oh, uh, as of now, uh, we only have it available in a 765M. So you gotta get the, the bigger form factor to get the 770 if you want that. Exactly. But I think I'd rather have the the smaller form factors because it's so much more portable, and I'm I'm never in one place. You exactly. Know, long, yeah, so. yeah. Definitely for those who travel a lot but still would like to take their games with them, definitely the GS70 would be a perfect fit for them. What's the battery life uh, when you're gaming? So battery life, uh, according to uh, uh, our testing and other media reviews, it's been a, between three to four hours. Really? Yeah, three to four hours. Oh, uh, Asbel's pretty, uh, pretty yeah, efficient. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty good. So we've been, uh, one of the biggest uh, compliments for this notebook was the battery life. So GE series is kind of like our entry level uh, gaming series. It's also built for more portability too. It's not as portable as the GS70, but it's still pretty slim and light. Uh, that one's about, that's what, that one, uh, GS70 measures less than uh, six pounds. This is, uh, this is still a little bit heavier than the GS70. It's still around the same weight, but just slightly heavier. Okay, what do we have here? This is the GT70 Dragon Edition 2. This is our highest end flagship uh, gaming notebook. Uh, this is everything. Uh, those who want all the bells and whistles, this is top end. Uh, MSRP is around like 2800. You got a GTX 780 in there, right? Yeah, this is a 780M graphics card built into this system. So this can pretty much run all the games you want to run. High settings, ultra settings, um, 32 gigabytes of memory, uh, three SSDs in RAID 0, and a one terabyte hard drive. So this thing is just everything you could want in a gaming notebook. You know, I've, a lot of times people say that they're, you know, their machine is a desktop replacement, but yeah. it's always the hard drive. So you yeah. guys have sort of actually done it. You, you've given us a true desktop replacement with comparable hard drive specs. Exactly, yeah. I mean, this is the definition of a desktop replacement gaming notebook. Vincent, the GT60, uh, we're getting a little smaller here. What do we have? So this is the 15-inch version of the GT70. Uh, we This is uh, still packs a lot of power. Hey, you've, uh, got a, you've got a 770 in there. Yeah, this one This one particularly has a 770. Um, and also runs on a 128 gigabytes uh, solid state drive and a 750, uh, one terabyte hard drive. So this got this has plenty of storage, um, a little bit more portable than the GT70, slightly lighter, but still has uh, pretty much all the bells and whistles uh, of the GT series in general. Um, one thing I forgot to, or two things I forgot to mention for um, our gaming notebooks in general, we have multiple displays. We call it matrix display, but so if you're ever in a desk or work setting. Um, and you have multiple multiple uh, monitors going. Uh, these notebooks have three display outputs that allows you to uh, support up to three external displays, and you can run your native notebook display plus the three externals all independently of each other. So four displays in total off yeah. of this one machine. Exactly. So I mean, as it's, this is still, you can still consider this a desktop replacement in that sense, uh, even though it's a 15 inch, um, and still. It, it can complete your workspace and multitask however you want to. Um, they all feature, uh, for the GT series, they all feature killer double shot. 
Uh, basically, that's it uses a killer uh, wireless chip plus a killer Ethernet chip. So it's, it prioritizes your internet, whether you're gaming or require like a uh, higher bandwidth or streaming, it'll prioritize it for you. So you get the maximum bandwidth for whatever you're doing. The GX series is all AMD based gaming notebook. So this is running on an A10 processor uh, and a 8970M uh, graphics card. Now, have you guys benchmarked these independently? Yes, we have. Uh, I mean, the Intel, NVIDIA uh, notebooks, they, they're much higher in performance. However, uh, the AMD-based gaming notebooks, uh, when it comes to like doing uh, workloads or more uh, heavy uh, processor-based um, applications. Well, you it's got the TL, right? Yeah, it's it's a little it's it's slower than the Intel-based gaming uh, notebooks. However, when it comes to gaming, the performance is actually up to par somewhat with NVIDIA. It's still slightly lower, but it gets the job done. So a lot of people uh, tend to also, they really like the GX60 also because of that price performance ratio. All right, this is the one I've been looking at a lot because I love portability and yeah. uh, you know, this is something I mean, I could pretty much take it anywhere. Yeah. So what do we have here? So this is uh, this is still also part of the GE series. However, this is uh, this is a little bit newer. Uh, this is our 14-inch version, the GE40. So as you can see already, it's very slim. It's very light, um, and it's. I mean, it was made for portability. It's for uh, definitely for people who travel often, uh, don't want to lug around a huge like 17, 15 inch notebook. Um, it's got pretty good specs. Uh, it's got a GeForce GTX uh, 760M graphics card in there, so it can still play your games. Uh, not necessarily all high settings or whatever, but um, at least you know more of the casual uh, gaming. And uh, this one has 120 gigabyte SSD and a 750 gigabyte hard drive. Um, this also has a uh, uh, amplified audio ports for your headsets so it increases the sound output uh, so if you're ever on a plane or anything and you're uh, you, you get really high quality sound output out of your headsets headphones with well, anything you want it's actually really handy for me yeah 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 so it's 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 very nice um, it's also got uh is this actually still can output two external displays if you need to uh, so if you have extra displays at home uh, this still has a matrix display feature, but it can only output up to two. Now, what uh, resolutions does that support? It doesn't support 4K, does it, or does it? No, this one does not. Uh, 1440p? Uh, 1440p, yes. This is definitely uh, the unit for, for anyone who is traveling often. Uh, and the re price range for this unit is around uh, $1299 to $1399. Okay, I'll take one. <laughs>